Alright, welcome to my channel. This is my life for ire today. I'm gonna bring another ZVT game to you. This is a ladder game on、um, at low diamond level. MMR is、uh, approximately 3.8k. And previously,、uh, the previous game I played it was a ZVZ, and I got wrecked by Ultras and Bane. So in this game, I try to play Ultras and Hydro composition myself to. Uh, just see,、uh, because I never played ultras in ladder game. I'm the kind of a zerg player who doesn't play ultra, doesn't play muta, doesn't play bangs.、So、I'm kind of a weirdo. I get the most powerful units. I'm not using them. It's really weird for for zerg to play like me、uh, because I I I only play roach, hydra, and ravager because it's safe. It's、uh, you know it's, if you macro well, you can. Crush opponents simply by having more units. So, yeah, but it's time to make a change, right?、Uh, I'm kind of stuck on the at this level if I keep playing like that. So at this point, my opponent opponent went for SEV scout, and he found that indeed there's no hatch. So he knew that I was going for pool first, and that's all he needed to know. So he immediately sent SEV back. And he's constructing a second base. Everything's normal. And、uh, yeah, obviously I was going for some aggression since I went for pool first. Let's see how it pan out. All right, send、uh, four links across the map. And he already finished his、uh, natural, so couldn't de delay it. It was、uh, a shame. Could have done that better for me. Did he went for CC first? I don't know. But anyway, I denied some mining, which was good. And in this game, my opponent went for Mac, which is very interesting because I'm also a Mac player. So、uh, we're gonna see. Let's compare、uh, his Mac and my Mac. Okay. Usually when I play Mac, I I get a、uh, Reaper. Reaper expand. So after the Reaper, I build a reactor right away, so I can swap the factory and the barracks, and pump out a bunch of hellings very quick. So this, so this, this maybe this is something my opponent could do better, or you could just walk those、uh, marines down and kill all those links. There's no, there's no, yeah, there you go. There's no point waiting. It's just denying a lot of mining time, and in the meantime, I got third. And I did some more,、uh, sent some more links to harass and、uh, scouting, just for scouting actually. No, I can't break him. All right, he got some、uh, Vikings to clear up, clean up all the overlords. Okay, let's speed up a little bit. At、yeah, this point, it's a little bit boring. So I should definitely join up a little bit more. Like、uh, if it's almost yeah, it's five minutes mark. I have only thirty, forty, almost forty drones, which is which is far from the standard. Standard should be fifty drones. I was slow, but yeah, we are in low diamond league. What can you expect, right? <laughs> All right. And my opponent was also a little bit low on SCV, but he did better than me because, uh, uh, well, he he could have done much better, just because、uh, you know I denied his mining. So he sent a banshee,、uh, killed some jones. I was waiting for the overseer to overseer to come out. Yeah, defend this. Ah, so close! Didn't kill him. All right. So at this point, this is the it, his third is really late actually. So he's building a lot of units, but he f- he he also got a huge bank, and he's not building third, which is a huge mistake for Mac player. As a Mac player, you need to、uh, expand really fast because you have a lot of a lot of resource. Uh, left over. Okay,、uh, let's look at this aggression. 
some Hellion, you know, one Cyclone, a handful of Marines. So the main damage output is from the Hellions to the drones. And uh, luckily, I don't have. He didn't take the best angle to attack. Yeah, I have no drones here. And I got a lot of queens. So. And also roaches. Roaches and queens, they pretty much counters uh, Hellions. So. It was a bit sloppy from him. Like, he could have a. Uh, yeah, he could have a, like a do a destruction attack from front and run Hellions this way, or run his Hellions from to to my natural. It would do much much better. He could have killed like a twenty Jones, but he killed only five Jones. It was totally not worth that effort. So, yeah, my my, my opponent played not so well. Like, if I were him, I would have this. So already done and I would have put a fourth already and my Hellions could have killed many more drones and I snapped this uh, planetary fortress <laughs> it's very unfortunate you as a mech player you always want three cc's so this should not be a planetary fortress in, in the first place it should be a command center um, from the fourth command center, uh, I mean orbital, from the fourth command centers, you you you, you want to add planetary fortress strategically, like you put here a planetary fortress. Here, orbital command. You need always three orbital command at least at least three. Uh, he still has the banshee here. All right, I'm on four base. Uh, I'm on four base. He's on three, uh, two bases. So I'm at quite a lot of adva advantage here, and I have a huge supply lead. And I was going for the hive tech. Like, uh, like I said, I wanted to try archers. This is this is actually the first time I try archers to play archer on the ladder. So it's been it's just been a little bit annoying here with the. The banshee, and uh, yeah, his expansion is really slow and uh, banked up so much resource. Like when you play Mac, you just you simply you can't bank up mineral. You will um yeah, Mac Mac play is uh, uh gas heavy play style. So you will use up your gas very quickly, and you will find yourself been left with a lot of resource, a lot of minerals. So at the, whenever you get uh, mineral left over, you just simply put down more CCs. Put three CCs, like one, two, three, like this. And then you turn him to Orbital Command and uh, Planetary Fortress. And that's how you play mech. And do more Hellion run back. And my opponent obviously, obviously doesn't know how to play mech, probably. I don't know if he's a consistent mech player or he's just trying mech for the first time or, or he, he, he just trying for fun. But <clears throat> obviously his macro is very sloppy. But this is quite quite an army, right? But look at this. Look at this. This definitely beats this, right? So his economy is really slow. So actually his, his first... Uh, First five minutes, okay. His first five minutes did better than me, but after that, it's just he didn't know how to transition. <clears throat> just run by to scout, harass a little bit. At this point, uh, yeah, I was getting altered. But what I was getting altered, I I realized I don't have the supply because I got. Um, uh, my units already maxed out. So what do I do? I went, went for a push. Uh, so it's kind of like a sacrifice all my units to 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 free up the supply to get archers. That, that's that's why I pushed here. Let's speed it up a little bit. There's nothing fancy. Just simple push. Check if he has a base there. No. So I push in here. Check the upgrade. Yeah, pretty much the same. I had way more units, so it's uh, easy. More shit counters less shit. Wrecked him here. I didn't care uh, if I did a bad trade because uh, 
I just wanted to do as much damage as I can because I have an economy. I can, I can just rebuild my units very quickly. And uh, yeah, just do damage and lose all my units. That's all I, <laughs> all I needed. So at this point, as you can see, I'm building archers, eight archer lists. All right, did quite a damage, quite a lot of damage. I lost a lot of shit, but it doesn't matter. I'm happy about the results. I don't have to do perfect trade. I just need to, you know, free up the supply. And I got an extra uh, hatch. Actually, I could have gone for even two more hatches. But it um, looks like I don't really need it because I have twice as as many supply as he has. Yeah, that's uh, uh, the planet fortress here is unnecessary. He should have put a planetary fortress here. All right, archers coming. They have the armor. I'm trying my five armor. All right, that's that's okay. I didn't have the I didn't have the armor upgrade yet. I didn't have plus two yet. All right, so this game becomes simply archers walking over the mech, easy. Let's watch from my opponent opponent's cam. See how he reacts. Well. This is a point you need mass liberators, right? He didn't scout, so he he had no idea I was going for archers, so there's no way for him to react anyway. So you need to scout, you need to throw some scans. But anyway, his economy is so behind, there's no way he could, he has the energy to spare to scan me. Or he, he didn't even do hell and run by. So he has no idea what I was going for. I could go, on, I could go for blue, uh, blue lord. I could have gone for you know a, another round of a roach hydro ravagers, but no, I went to for archers and took completely wrecked him easily. So like a few a handful of tanks would do pretty much nothing to archers. They need a lot of tanks, a lot of liberators. No, uh, yeah. So that's the game. I feel like I, I did a little bit of harassment with the mutants, but I don't think it's worth it. Maybe I can skip the spire next time. Uh, all in all, it's a good game. Mm, I guess I, I yeah, kind of practice a new skill, practice how to use archers. Um, of course, there are a lot of things I can improve, such as the first five minutes, I can totally join up to 50, 50 joins. Uh, since I got a lot of queens, <clears throat> yeah, you know, consistently uh, building more queen queens and a handful of roaches. It was good against the Hellions, which uh, was helpful against the first push. But uh, yeah, I could totally join up more. Uh, but after five minutes, I did pretty well, I guess. All right, that's the uh, game. So, all right, see you next time.